Hello, I'd like to welcome everyone attending this year's Kent and Medway Business Summit. And I want to take a moment to explain why this event is so important to the University of Kent, to the businesses of Kent and Medway, and to the people of our lovely county and region. In fact, I think it's never been more important. To begin with the obvious, the past year has been somewhat disruptive to all of us in our personal, business and professional lives. Some have suffered a great deal, but while, like all of you, I suspect, I'm glad to see the back of 2020, I also see the seeds of hope for 2021. To begin with the difficulties, we experienced the predictable challenges in and around Dover and on our motorways. We also had the idea that the new variant of coronavirus originated in Kent. Well, I'm not a virologist, but I do know that the 1918 Spanish flu was given that name because Spain was where it was first reported. The scientific consensus is, in fact, that it may have originated in Kansas. Viruses don't have national identities or county loyalties for that matter. And perhaps one thing we can all recognize is that the biggest problems in our world don't observe national or regional or county boundaries. And that's why I am cheered by how we as a community have responded. I live a dozen or so miles away from Dover. I know friends and neighbors who went out of their way to offer food and warm drinks to stranded lorry drivers. One even ensured that showers were available to some. Our Sikh community and Ramsgate Football Club were two of the most notable groups who also helped out, but many, many others were also outstanding. Our businesses adapted and many proved how resilient we can be even under these most difficult circumstances. And this isn't to minimize the difficulties, but to recognize our spirit and our inventiveness. Local government and other representatives offered leadership. Our NHS and our care workers, of course, proved they are truly essential. But our essential services also have to include teachers and university staff, supermarket workers, farmers, shopkeepers, media outlets, including the Kent Messenger Group, transport links, especially Southeastern, and indeed border force and other public services, including those who keep our streets clean and safe. Personally, I never thought I'd be so happy as when I got a slot to take rubbish to the Kent County Council Recycling Centre. Now, all this disruption proved that Kent is at its heart a series of connections between individuals and communities. We are connected to Europe, of course, connected to the rest of the UK, and we're connected to each other. But one other profoundly important result of the past year should not be forgotten. The Kent and Medway Business Summit is a connection in a different way. It's a connection bringing people together with real expertise, you. And I hope that one result of the past year is that those of us who strive for excellence and who celebrate expertise can cut through some of the nonsense we see and hear on social media and elsewhere. I hope the past year will encourage us all to understand that while everyone is entitled to their opinions, no one is entitled to make up their own facts about vaccinations or indeed anything else. We can disagree respectfully, but only if we also respect the facts themselves. The British people haven't had enough of experts, quite the reverse. We need experts in many different disciplines. We need business, transport, logistics, university, and other experts with real world experience of how to make things work and how to make innovations happen. And we need to work together, which is why we are here, virtually for now, but always together in spirit. I'd like to thank in particular our sponsors, Creston Reeves, Southeastern, KO Digital, British Business Bank and Canterbury AI, and also our partners, the Federation of Small Businesses, the Institute of Directors, and Locate in Kent. I hope the next few hours will help bring us even more closely together and also help us think how we can make Kent and Medway, our county and our country, even better in 2021. Thank you. <laughs>